Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss how do you, uh, how do you execute SQL statements in PL SQL block. Coming to SQL statements, uh, we can use DML that is insert, update, delete uh, kind of statements as well as DRL that is select statement into, select statement into PL SQL block. So to begin with DML statements. Uh, it is pretty simple, all you need to do is you know to put DML statements as they are in the begin block of a PL SQL block. So let me show you a demo of this. Here I have a table, here I have a table or T1 which has 3 records that is 10, 20, 30. So using a PL SQL block, let us perform DML transactions onto this table. To begin with, I will create a begin block. Since we are not going to dis, since we are not going to use any variables, so I do not need to use the declare block. I am directly going to begin block. In the begin block, I'll write one insert, one update, and one delete statement. So here, so you can see here in my one begin block of a PL SQL block, I got three statements, insert into T1 values of 40, update T1 set C1 equals 25 where uh, C1 equals 20 and delete T1 where C1 equals 30. So I run this query and then I select star from the table name T1 and you can see now this was the previous table this was the previous data in the table and after performing DML statements into a PL SQL block this is the latest data. So this is how you can perform DML statements into a PL SQL block. Now coming to DRL statements there the syntax is slightly different okay. Here PL SQL being a procedural language it uh, does not handle, it does not fetch the values from the table in the table structure. It fetches individual values that means it fetches the values from each cell in the table into a variable. Therefore, you must declare a variable. In fact, as many values you are going to fetch, so many variables you must declare. Here as you can see on the screen, in the declare block I have declared uh, like uh, the overall syntax is like this. In the declare block you must declare a variable along with its proper data type and the begin block you must make a slight change in the select statement. Usually in SQL the select statement is select columns from table name where some condition is there. But here select column name into variable name from table name of course with some where condition and after you select the values from the column into a variable then you can process those values using certain statements. So you can see on the screen here my program is declare in the declare block or declared a variable that is name and its data type is var character because I intend to you know select first name into the variable name and in the begin block I have written the query select first name into name from employees where employee equals 101 and I have written one simple procedure that is dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and this procedure will print the value of the variable name. I run this program and as you can see on the screen, the output is uh, Nina, her first name whose uh, employee ID is 101. This is how you can perform DRL statement into a PL SQL block. These are the statements which are mainly used 
in uh, PL SQL programs. Thanks for watching this video. If you have got any questions, please write them into comments and to watch more such videos, please visit Nourish Technologies on YouTube. Thank you.